Dave Calaboda from Prince. How are yes, you doing? I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? And World Dairy Expo Day One. Uh, is it treating you well so far? So far, yeah. Although I haven't had the ice cream that I'm looking for. <laughs> well, you just stick around. It'll it'll be opening up here soon if it's not already. Let's talk a little bit about stress management and the immune function in the cow, not us. Okay. But uh, the, the cow. Uh, when dairy producers think about the importance of, of stress management, what are some of the, the year-round sources of stress uh, uh, that dairy cattle can experience? Well, I think, you know, we have to kind of define stress as really a, a ubiquitous or ever-present kind of a phenomenon that hits that hits dairy cows, uh, regardless of, of their their phase of lactation or the phase of production. And um, and really, it's something that hits them throughout their life cycle. So probably the biggest stress is uh, is is calving, so that they can produce milk. And uh, and then thereafter, a whole host of things might affect stress, like diet changes, bunk changes, um, the grains that might contain mycotoxins, which stimulate stress. And um, and then uh, temperature can can also cause a stress event, uh, which is a secretion of cortisol and then that brings brings on a whole predisposition to a number of different diseases so really stress is a is a ubiquitous ever-present thing that faces the dairy cow regardless of what stage of lactation that they're in or it's stage of production at, coming at you at all angles it sure is yeah you know, it's like a well-functioning immune system is vital but it's kind of tough when you talk about all the different stresses out there. absolutely yeah so, so discuss the role of nutrition in this and in uh, supporting a dairy cow's you know immune, immune function well prob probably the best thing you can do is to have a a healthy cow that uh, has all of the nutrients that they need in order to maintain production and um and in so doing, uh, you keep the cows naturally healthy. And that's really the most important thing, maintaining homeostasis so that the cow can respond in the best way possible. Now, we know that, um, that in all situations, and even if the cows have been given good nutrition, they don't always necessarily respond positively. And so um, uh, we supply a product called Omnigen AF, uh, which is a proprietary formula that when given to a cow, actually helps to keep the cows in a very healthy state. It modulates the immune system and, um, and gives them just that amount of protection that they need so that they can, they can maintain a healthy production cycle. When we talk about harvest season you know, and, mm -hmm. and what you put in the cow, uh, can you tell us about how producers should manage uh, you know, some of the potential risks involving some of the grain quality, maybe like mycotoxins? Well, I think uh, ongoing monitoring of their, of their grain and their silage is certainly an important aspect of management. So they should always know uh, whether there's a, a level of infestation, what that level is, and, um, and, uh, and if there is, if there is a, um, an infestation of molds and mycotoxins, then they should use uh, the appropriate products to try and alleviate or, or monitor some of that. Now, obviously, Prince uh, Nutrition can help with that. We sure can, yeah. Yeah. So how can dairy producers find more information if they want to learn more about all the stress that you talked about and, and fighting that immune system? Well, there are a number of different uh, periodicals on the, on the web, and uh, we also have a website called theomnigendifference.com, and they can learn about um, specific stresses that might impact the cow and how she could respond in a positive way by using some of the products that we have to offer. What was the website again? Theomnigendifference.com. Check it out. Dave Calabota from Prince, thanks for joining us here at World Dairy Expo. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks.